Something just popped up. I gotta go. I see you know why I'm here. You ain't the first to run up in here with a gun. This Fair Play 2333, and I want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. I, I, I just want the life that niggas can't afford. We, we, we whipping them babies once you can't afford. Not looking for beef or something you can't avoid. And if I'm on a mission, it's you on the voyage. Did Ghost break into Noma's apartment before Noma? Now, we gotta explore this because we see that David said you ain't the only person to break in here with a gun. Um, that lets me know that somebody came in there and did that before. Now, who would do that? Some people may say, hey man, the feds ran in this house, but he wouldn't pull a gun out on the feds. And the fact that Davis has a gun sitting right under his couch cushion, that lets you know he's paranoid. That lets you know that he's not lying when he says that either. That lets you know that somebody actually ran inside of his crib. Now, we have to think of who it could be. Now, it's a possibility that it could be Monet and Kanan. But I doubt if they run down on them like that because they need Davis. Davis is their lawyer. Davis is the one who gives them all the information they're looking for. Ever since Kane killed that cop, it was crazy and it wasn't a time. Oh, my God. I said Kane in there first. I know y'all finna kill me in the comments. Ever since Kane killed that cop, it's been hard for Monet to find out any information and you know, in order for her organization to run, it was running so smoothly because she had a cop who was out on the streets just like Rock had a cop who was out on the streets and Detective Howard. And he was able to let her know what was coming. He was able to show up to the scene before any other cops. He was able to go check out on things that would be in Monet territory just to make sure that Kane could get away, make sure that Monet could get away, make sure that Drew wouldn't get in trouble, all of that. But once Kane let his emotions get in the way and he killed him, all that was over. So then they just need the next best thing, which is a great lawyer who can advise them before they move forward and do anything, but also a great lawyer who could um give them advice after some things happen and let Monet know what's the worst case scenario that can happen here, what's the best case scenario, how should I handle this, how should I move with this. But if I'm under the belief that Ghost is back as I am, I believe that, you know, uh, Ghost is the one who popped up at the apartment. I see nobody else having a reason to pop up at the apartment. Davis is the closest thing to Tyreek. He talks to Tyreek the most and in my personal opinion, that would be Ghost's way to pull some of the strings in Tyreek life and make things happen. We gonna see Tyreek go to Davis for a new connect. Well, where would Davis have a connect for? Could it be an old connect or could it be a Ghost connect? We'll explore that a little bit later in another video. But I could see a situation where, you know, Ghost broke into his apartment. We already saw Ghost break into Milan's girlfriend. Well, I think that was his wife's apartment. Remember Milan planted his wife in the club to work there? And then Ghost was looking for her. She was missing. She the one who put the Jimenez card inside of his drawer. Um, he didn't know what was going on. He went to the apartment, looked for her. He thought she was dead anyway. The purpose of that is that Ghost snuck into her apartment building without even being detected, without being spotted on any other cameras. And so why wouldn't he be able to do that to Davis? I think one thing we have to remember when we look at power, all of these things go in parallel. It's a lot of similarities and it's a lot of things that happened in the past that tell us what's going to happen in the future or it makes it believable what happens in the future. So I can't remember anybody else I saw sneak into an apartment. We did see Effie and Kane. I believe that was Effie and Kane. They went into Mecca's apartment, but I don't believe they snuck inside of there. But if I'm not mistaken, I do remember Mecca uh, teaching Kane and how to get in somewhere or something like that. Y'all let me know in the comments if that's true. Now, Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Facebook group. Y'all should become a member of the Facebook group Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. Right now, we have 5,200 members in that group, and it hasn't even been a full three months yet. So I appreciate everybody who's become a member in that group. Now, when we look at other things in this situation, we have to understand that 
Um, Ghost has the most to gain from anybody who run up on Davis. Uh, Monet already has Davis in her pocket, so she could just call Davis. Um, Noma and Obi, this day first time breaking into the apartment. Brayden would have no reason to break into the apartment. A lot of these things that are happening off screen, we're not seeing them because it's going to be a reveal later on. Now, this right here is from episode two of a five part series. So I believe that we getting so much action and everything is moving so fast because we have to get this. I think that we're probably going to wrap up um, this part of everything and we may even see Tyreek graduate in the first five episodes. I can't say 100 percent for sure. Um, and if he don't, he's going to be very close to his graduation. Like in episode five, they may be talking about graduation and they be talk, may be talking about what they're going to do after college. Not just Tyreek, but everybody in the class and um, the teacher and all of that, the professor. So when we continue to see everything unfold, um, I have no other reason to believe that it's anybody but ghosts. Now, Ghost would be moving through the streets. He's probably still in the drug game for the moment being. Um, we got a chance to see what type of person Ronnie was when Ronnie didn't have any money. And Ronnie was resourceful. He was resorting to other things. He was resorting to robberies. He was resorting to going to people who he who did favors for him back in the day. People who knew he was a great person. We can also start to see Breeze do some of that with Stefano. Going to Stefano to get a little capital. Maybe even going to get a little work for him. And like I said, Kanan is going to be the face of Bree's organization. So when I look at all of these things together, I don't see any way that we could think that it's far-fetched for Ghost to be um, still around and Ghost to be moving around in the shadows. Now, what we need to find out is how Ghost didn't die, how Ghost survived, um, who helped Ghost, um, and how long Ghost has been back. I think it's a lot of things that we missed that were put inside of different episodes that were way more subtle than the other things I found. So like I have a video in my Ghost is Alive or the Power Book 2 Season 4 playlist where you can actually see ghosts moving around in the background when Junior gets done talking to Blanca Rodriguez. And you can also see a shadowy figure behind Tyreek when he's on the phone with Davis, right? So if we able to put all of this stuff together, we can 100% tell that that was the ghost who broke into that apartment. And I don't even know why I didn't even just think of this, but ghost was outside of Davis apartment watching Tyreek from across the street when Tyreek parked and pulled up to talk to Davis. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I don't know why that wasn't in my mind, but um, yeah, this is what happened. This is ghost. I'm a hundred percent sure that ghost will be back. I know a lot of y'all aren't. I know a lot of y'all don't believe. And guess what? For the people who don't believe, I'm not upset with y'all, man. I believe that um, this is a theory that's hard to believe because in your mind, you believe that you saw ghosts fall over a balcony. In your mind, you believe that ghosts were shot. In your mind, you believe that ghosts were shot in the heart. But when we look at that perspective of it, Tyreek's perspective, we get a chance to be able to see that, you know, ghosts was actually um, shot and it looks like a cartoon shooting. It don't look like he really got shot. When we look at Tyreek's perspective, um, way more go blood was laying under ghosts than you would actually see in someone's physical body. So that's a red flag. And it's a couple of other things that we have to understand and look at and know that um, Ghost had changed those doors on the club and it was a lot of different things. I do have another video about that um, uh, Ghost in the club and what he did with the doors. I won't give it away here, but salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair. If your favorite Chicago rapper turned his mixtape or album into a movie, it would be No Time to Play Fair, starring and directed by me, Fairplay2333.